this could be my favorite chat GPT update. GPT 4.0 is around two weeks old and I'm still amazed at how powerful it is. I am finding new use cases and features all the time. But this one feature could be my favorite. I am talking about data analysis. Now, we were able to do data analysis with ChatGPT for a very long time, but this latest update has taken data analysis to another level. Let me show you what I mean. So as you can see, I am using GPT-4.0 and I have uploaded some of my own TikTok data. And then I'm simply asking it to act as an expert data analysis. And then I'm asking it to analyze this data for me. Now, before I do that, you will also notice that now you can connect your Google Drive directly to ChatGPT or you can connect Microsoft OneDrive as well. I personally use Google Drive, so I have connected it to my Google Drive and it works perfectly. So let's try this out. Now, I want you to have a look at this. As you saw, I just gave it a simple prompt, but look at how much info it has given us. Firstly, it automatically put my data into a table, but then below that, you will see how it analyzed my data. Firstly, it understood because it said this data set contains TikTok video performance metrics for a user named Asmal Digital. Below are the primary columns and the first few rows for context. And then it went to work and then it says, let's start by analyzing some key metrics. And then it gave me the distribution of video views, engagement metrics, video duration, posting time analysis. And then it went even further and it created this graph for me with a distribution of video views. And then it carried on working. And then it gave me another graph with video duration versus video views. And then it gave me another graph with average video views by hour of upload. And then it went into more detail with engagement metrics, video duration analysis. And then it asked me, would you like any further analysis or specific insights from this data set? Now, as you saw, just from this one prompt, it gave me all of this analysis. And this is just touching the surface because now I can ask it any follow-up question based on the data that I have fed it. But for this example, I'm just going to show you another amazing feature. So now I'm asking to put all the data you have given me into an interactive table. Yes, you can now create interactive tables within ChatGPT. And as you can see, it did it effortlessly. And it says, I have created an interactive table for you to explore the data. You can now review and analyze the data set more conveniently. If you need any specific insights or further analysis, please let me know. So now I can just expand this table. And as you can see, I can now interact with this table. So I can click on any column or row and then I can ask it a follow-up question based on this cell or row. And if I wanted to download this table, I can download this table as well. Now I asked it a follow-up question and I asked it to put all the key metrics into an interactive pie chart. And as you can see, it went to work and it created my interactive pie chart. But this is not all. As you can see, I have some options here as well. Here it says I can switch to a static chart. And if I click on this, I can actually change the colors of the pie chart. And just like that, this will change the color. Then I can download this pie chart if I want, or I can expand this chart and then ask it any follow-up questions based on this chart. And as you will notice below, it is even giving me some suggested follow-up questions as well. Here it's asking me if I want to analyze followers over time, I want to compare videos with different durations, or I can give it my own follow-up question if I like as well. So as you can see, GPT-40 is amazing at handling data. So the possibilities are endless. And another impressive feature is that now we can ask it to download it in an Excel format. And then we can use this file 
within Microsoft Excel, or we can even use it in Google Sheets as well. Now you and many other people may be thinking that this is the end of data analysis jobs, but I see it differently. I see data analysts who embrace ChatGPT as having an unfair advantage because their knowledge paired with ChatGPT makes them so much more powerful. And this is true of other industries as well. No matter what industry you are in, leverage AI to give yourself superpowers and give yourself an unfair advantage. And in this way, you will become indispensable. Let me know if you have tried the new ChatGPT for data analysis. If you enjoyed this video and you want to learn more about ChatGPT and AI, click on this video. Hit the like button if you found this video useful and don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. I'll see you on the next video.